It's the first time that I've gotten a chance to talk with you. Just walk me through what fall camp's been like, getting out there on the field, and what's it been like so far your freshman year? Uh, you know, just to me it's been uh, great just to be back playing football, uh, you know, missing out on my senior year. So especially with the boys that I have, with all these boys behind me, uh, you know, they make every day fun. Coming out to practice is always fun to compete and work each other. What was that recovery process like? I mean, how would you get through that? How'd, who would you talk to during that process? It was tough. Um, at, at first, I had teammates back in uh, back in uh, California, uh, like former teammate Jack Genova. He went through a similar thing the year before, so he kind of helped walk me through it, uh, prepared me. Um, you know, the biggest thing that he prepared me for was, you know, the mental game and it, like just having to keep my mentality straight, just keep pushing through with the pain and everything, even through all the rehab and everything through that. Fitting at that stud position, uh, what, what what do you like about that stud spot? Uh, I just feel comfortable with it. That's what I played back in modern day. And, you know, I just I just know that that's where I fit best and where I can contribute best to the team. So it's just comfortable for me. Why does that fit? What about your skill set you think fits into that or, or that you did in high school that – you could do skill set in high school to fit that spot. Uh, you know, just uh, I guess you would call it the athleticism. I guess uh, right now I'm not really as athletic as I used to be because I was playing at 245 back in high school. But um, I know once I can be able to get down to that weight, then I'll be feeling more comfortable with uh, dropping back into coverage and covering the wide receivers, uh, running backs, or whoever comes out. What do you got now? Right now I'm at 268. 268. Yeah. Um, does that bring you some different ability, though? I mean, stronger and kind of ability to do maybe some different things than you were able to do in high school? Uh, yeah, it definitely has, uh, especially up front in the trenches, being able to hold my uh, hold my ground against those big tackles like Panay every day of practice. Um, so that, that weight uh, difference has really helped with that um, part of my game. But uh, I feel like, for me, my more comfortable weight that I would like to be at um, throughout the season and throughout my whole career is just around 255, around there. You working to get to that then, even in yeah. season? Just... Yeah, we're working to get there at this season. What coach was talking about when you miss a whole season and then you come in here and you're playing as a true freshman, what's that like to, and you didn't play for a year and then you're trying to get up to speed and the athleticism of these guys, what's been that adjustment for you and, and to add to your excitement to come out here knowing that you'd missed all last year, most last year? Um, just missing out really did take a toll on me, but I don't think it really took a toll on my um, – my knowledge for the game, <laughs> uh, you know, I just I knew what I was capable of doing, and just hopefully I, I trusted myself to come out here and trust coaches, and do whatever they told me to do, so I could get myself on the field and help the team out in any way possible. You've done that. You made a lot of big plays early on. That been exciting for you to be in the backfield uh, quite a bit. Yeah, it has. Uh, you know, just like last week playing in Austin, my first game in Austin, uh, making that tackle, those two sacks, um, and hearing the crowd go crazy and especially seeing my brothers on the sideline go crazy for me. Uh, it's just it's heartwarming. It's one of the best feelings as an athlete or as a football player, just knowing that your team's right there to celebrate with you with everything that you do. What's the next step for you in your development? What are you working on personally? The next step is just keep building off of uh, my teammates every day um, and also just trying to lose that weight. If you do lose that weight, would you move inside or you you think you're outside all the way? I, I think I'm going to stick with outside all the way. It's more comfortable for me. What's it been like just fitting in with that linebacker group? What have you tried to take from some of the older guys? Uh, you know, ever since I got here, I looked up uh, to Bryson Young. Uh, he's he's really been a big help to me. Um, the first, I would say, three, maybe a month that I've been here, I was always talking to Bryson, just have him help me with all the little things that came with um, this defense that we ran. And he, he really has been a big help to me, um, and I'll continue to do so. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to do the same for the new guys coming in. Everyone's talked about this freshman group, how, how ready a lot of you guys are just to kind of come straight into the moment. How would you assess what this freshman group is like? Uh, our freshman group that came in, we are strong. We are a good group that came in, but, uh, you know, we still rely on the older guys in front of us to help prepare us for the next three, four years that we'll be here. So I guess we'll see without, throughout these next few years what we really can be. You look at this group, though, and think there's potential to be really a special group, a lot of young guys making plays early on. Yeah, there, there are a lot of young guys making plays, both on the one and two depth chart and also on the um, developmental group. I just see guys out there flying around knowing that they're in my class. Uh, 
you know, really gives me a good heads up of what we can be like. But as of right now, we'll just keep focusing on getting each other better every day and play throughout this season.